Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video, we will talk about different types of amino acid ureas. So, in our videos, we have discussed about the metabolic part of amino acids. So, what are the defectives, disorders related to them. So, all together in this video, I want to put as amino acid ureas. Right. So, to begin with, so in this table column, I will be explaining the type of amino acid urea as like disorder, abnormality or absence of the particular enzyme, uh, clinical manifestation of particular amino acid urea and uh, which, uh, which form of that particular amino acid is uh, appearing in the urine and possible treatment. Okay. So, to begin with phenylketonuria. So, phenylketonuria again types are there if enzyme defect type 1 if uh, there is a coenzyme tetrahydrobiopterin is not there so familial phenylketonuria so i am not talking about it so first phenylketonuria is one of the amino acid urea so the enzyme deficiency is phenylalanine hydroxylase so what are the clinical manifestations mental retardation hypertonia and seizures so substance in the urine because accumulation of phenylalanine so, it takes divert pathways. So, it leads to formation of phenyl pyruvate, phenyl acetate and phenyl lactate. So, the major portion of phenylalanine will be converted to phenyl pyruvate, lactate and acetate. So, phenyl pyruvate, lactate acetates will you can see. And the treatment is dietary restriction of phenylalanine which solves the problem and start giving tyrosine. And second is hyperthyrosinemia where fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase enzyme deficiency so, this also leads to mental retardation, hepatorenal damage. You can see here why because fumarate S2 estate cannot be converted into uh, S2 estate and uh, fumarate. So, there is no complete catabolism of tyrosine. And the possible products you can see here is para hydroxy uh, phenyl pyruvic acid and then tyrosine in the urine. And again, to correct this amino acid urea, restrict phenyl and tyrosine in the diet. So, and the third one is alkaptonuria. So, because of the enzyme deficiency, homogenistic acid oxidase, because this homogenistic acid is not converting into further products, so there is no complete uh, catabolism of uh, tyrosine. So, because the enzyme deficiency is homogenistic acid oxidase, so what are the things? This homogenistic acid oxidase will be accumulating uh, in the soft bones, soft tissues, and intervertebral discs. So, it causes arthritis and cartilage mal disformations. So, the main thing, main substance in the urine is homogenistic acid. And treatment is nil for this. So, next thing is homocystinuria type 1, where cystathionine beta synthase deficient. So, homocystine cannot be converted into cystathionine and cystathionine into cysteine. So, here cysteine synthesis will be debarred because of cystathionine beta synthase formation. So, high levels of homocystine you can see, which leads to mental retardation, ectopia lentis. So, the main substance in the urine will be homocysteine. And you have to provide as cysteine synthesis is uh, debarred or uh, cysteine production is uh, reduced, you have to provide cysteine in the diet. And homocystinuria type 2 is because of the SAM uh, methyl transferase deficiency. So, there will be again homocysteine levels you can see. So, leads to mental retardation. Again, homocysteine you can see in the urine. So, you have to stop giving methionine in the diet. And homocystinuria type 3. Okay, here methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency leads to mental retardation. Again, homocysteine is the uh, accumulated product in the urine. So, here the correction is you have to provide B9 because in case of B9 deficiency or folic acid deficiency, so this homocysteinuria type 3 will be there. Now, histidinemia because of the histidase deficiency. So, mild uh, mental retardation speech effects will be uh, seen. So, imidazole pyruvic acid is accumulated product in the urine. So, you have to restrict histidine in the diet. So, maple syrup urine disease is a branched chain amino acid uh, metabolism disorder. So, the enzyme deficiency is branched chain keto acid decarboxylase. So, clinical manifestation, mental retardation and ma maple syrup odor. That means, the person will be having a sweet odor smell, a sweet smell. So, it is acidosis condition. So, the accumulated products will be valin, leucine, isoleucine, all keto acid appear in the urine. So, you have to restrict valin, leucine, isoleucine in the diet to correct this. Next is methylmalonic aciduria, where methylmalonic CoA mutase enzyme deficiency leads to mental retardation, ketosis, and hypotonia. So, methylmalonic acid ketone bodies will start appearing in the urine. So, because there is no conversion of methylmalonate to propanyl CoA, so because of the vitamin b12 deficiency where it has to convert into methyl cobalamine so here the acceptor of methyl group of methyl melanate 
is vitamin B12 as methyl melanate cannot give its methyl group to vitamin B12 as it is deficient there is accumulation of methyl melanic acid and cystothionuria where cystothione is where cystine cannot be hydrolyzed I mean like it lysed so it is a benign one cystothione will be accumulated and see you can see in the urine there is no treatment which is not required it's normal hyperprolinemia where proline dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency leads to seizures proline and hydroxyproline you can see in the urine and in citrullinemia it is one of the urocycle disorder and arginosuccinate synthase enzyme deficiency mental retardation vomiting seizures you can see so excretory product will be citrulline so you have to provide low protein diet uh, which is rich of arginine which can correct this disorder next is arginemia so this is also urea cycle disorder we have because of arginine enzyme deficiency spastic and diplegia you can see spastic diplegia substance in urine arginine and ornithine so treatment is low protein diet hyperornithemia is also because of enzyme deficiency ornithine decarboxylase and vomiting lethargy you can see in this condition ornithine is a accumulated product in the urine so low protein diet has to follow Auditin transcarbamylase amine deficiency, OTC deficiency, lethargy and convulsions. That means transport are actually deficient here. And uretic acid because this ornithine transcarbamyl because of the deficiency, most of the carbamyl phosphate will be diverted to pyrimidine synthesis. So this pyrimidine synthesis leads to degradation, more degradation, more degradation. Uretic acid is the end product of uh, uh, I mean catabolism of pyrimidine. So uretic acid urea you can also see here. And protein diet I mean low protein diet has to be provided and carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 deficiency where carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 deficient vomiting lethargy as you can see and substance in urine will be glutamine because glutamine is cannot be converted into glutamate and then free ammonia and low protein diet has to be provided arginosuccinic aciduria where arginosuccinate lyase is deficient vomiting trichorexis nodosa you can see arginosuccinate and citrulline are both the compounds you can see in the urine so arginine to be provided and protein uh, low protein diet has to be given so that's all about amino acid ureas different types including urocycle disorders different types of uh, amino acid uh, defects thanks for watching thank you